What's up guys? Uh, this is a little review on the Ruger 2245 target model. Um, so pretty much exactly like the Mark III except for it has a 1911 grip angle. Um, that's why I bought this version and fortunately it was a little cheaper than others. I don't know if that was just the Mark III. I don't know if that was just the place I was at or what. I think this is I think you get them for, I think I paid like 300 I guess, after tax for this. Um, when it comes to 22s, Ruger makes some of the best, argu argu arguably the best by some. I, I don't like some of Ruger designs, and, but I love their 22s. Um, anyway, it's got a target trigger or not target trigger target uh, sights just so they're plain black oh, solid black but they're adjustable this one I haven't had to adjust it out of the box it was accurate um, enough for what I was using it I'm not planning on doing competitions with it just something for training and fun to shoot easy, easy to shoot and inexpensive the money you'll spend on these guns will will pay for themselves extremely fast. You'll have just as much fun shooting these as you will any gun, and without as much guilt. It comes with let's see, ten round magazines, I think, maybe nine. Um, it's got this little spring in here. Pulls them down. If you don't want to lower it, you hold that down, drop them in. Careful, springs are any pressure. Um, anyway, some of the features. Of this one right here has got the safety, like a 1911. It's not as wide or as thick. I don't think it really acts as good as a safety as 1911 because it's so thick. I wish it would have been more like that. But um, it's, it's easy to actuate. It's got a uh, slide release. It's got the magazine safety. It has been safety checked. That uh, it will not go off if it doesn't have a magazine in it. Um, magazine, magazine detached safety, I guess it's called. Bolt hold open. Stainless steel uh, bolt. This one came with just regular grips. I don't know if you can change them or not. Looks like they're molded in. I don't know if you can get some over top of that or not. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could at least get the wraparound rubber hold grips. I like the uh, the brown grips and those are different models I'm sure. Oh from this gun where I had older parts that did in there. Um, to take it down, it's pretty complicated. I suggest you watch somebody's review. I might do one. You open that up. I've never had to break this all the way down. It's kind of just my little test on this gun. I just gave it a little cleaning. And um, like it's got chamber indicator. The accuracy on this gun is great. Um, it's got a two-stage trigger. By two-stage means you pull back and it gets to a breaking point. And you pull from there slightly and then it goes off um, which is more for a target trigger matter of fact this is a 2245 mark 3 so it's not just 2245 so this is a mark 3 version it's got a bull barrel um, they put their little warning underneath the barrel the rigor warning and I can't stand it's just one of the things that irritate me about them um, it's got a, a scalloped or serrated trigger which I like magazine releases right here it's pretty heavy I, I can't remember the barrel length of this I think it's like uh, hell I can't remember four to five inches I think it's five maybe five five and a half yeah it's five and a half inches the barrel length on this gun I've never had any problem with this gun shooting except for uh, your average 22 ammo Problems. I've shot quite a bit of Winchester ammo through here. I've had a lot of primers on those might go off. Not 
more than what I'd like anyway. Not a lot out of thousands I've shot, maybe six. But Winchester seems to do that in all my guns, or every gun I've ever shot. Um, had, it's never had any uh, feeding malfunctions or stove piping or ejecting. I shoot target. I shoot these little plinker targets that are about this big, out to about 55, 60 yards. You know, it's, that's accurate. They're good guns. You know, the operations. You can pull this back, opens up that. You can hold it open for the bow hold open. That's, I guess, all I got to say. Oh yeah. The only problem I had with this gun when I bought it, the front sight was extremely loose. I just took out the screw, lock tightened it, and, uh, and it's not, and it's, you know what I'm saying, it's sturdy now, red lock tight. Um, I've shot it quite a bit since then. I guess the red lock tight's still holding. When red, red lock tight gets hot, it weakens. Um, but I don't see a problem with that. Cause it's got, I guess because it's got the bull barrel. Chamber indicator does have a red mark on it to indicate that it's open. I don't really use that too much. It comes with two magazines, a uh, 150 page manual. Now, Ruger does all their guns, which is kind of nice for people that are inexpensive, does details about everything uh, for breaking it down and everything like that. Alright, thank you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe.